ideas for trick or treat decorated cookies. Hi everyone, my name is Lupita. Welcome to the Cookie Couture, where flavor and design collide. Today I'm going to share with you how you can make trick or treat bag cookie using two different cookie cutters. And also that idea you can use different kind of cookie cutters just depending on the figure that you want to make. In this case I'm going to make like a little pumpkin and I am also going to have a little surprise for you but just wait for it and also I'm going to share with you some other Halloween cookies ideas okay and um, so stay tuned and let's get started I am going to start by sharing these pictures of a cookie similar to the one that I'm going to make that I make like maybe seven years ago These are the materials that I use for this project. Cookie cutters. You will need royal icing and if you click the link above you can have the recipe and also the tutorial to get the right consistencies. This is a thicker consistency icing and I'm just going to use it as a glue to put the candy. Orange floating icing consistency. Multicolor sprinkles. And this is our super cute Halloween candy selection that we're gonna put in there. You will need metallic gold food color, metallic green food color, and silver metallic food coloring. Please click the link above for the coral cookie recipe. You're gonna start by cutting your pumpkin cookie. And we are going to cut our cauldron as well. Then we're gonna cut three circles. Very well, now we are going to use our round cookie cutter and we are going to cut the top of it. Okay, so we're gonna make like a little pumpkin basket, okay. Now you have here your round circle and we are going to cut the handle using that cookie. Using your same cookie cutter, we are going to cut like a little wedge. So then you're going to use egg white or egg mix to use as glue. And now we're going to put this one in here. Okay, very well. Now I put a little bit of egg in this brush and I'm going to just brush it in the side. And then I am going to glue the little handle. So I'm going to do two different styles. So this one is just going to be the little basket and the other one we're going to put the candies because if not we're going to mess up the little eyes. Okay? And so you were going to do the same thing for your cauldron. And I cut the other cookie. that have a little holes in it it is always very nice to outline those parts so the icing won't go everywhere and if you click the link above you can see how I did the haunted mansion that is super super cool I am going to do it all the way now that I'm here here 
here the calderon and also I am going to put white on the handle so I'm going to do the calderon green I put a little bit of gold in the handle of the calderon then using the thick consistency icing I'm going to use it as a glue to put the candy okay, so I'm going to put just a little bit are very typical. Look at this gummy teddy bear. Also for this one I just put the same green paint on the top. I am going to add multicolor sprinkles to this pumpkin to add a festive look. consistency that I make it with equal parts of moss and neon green and this color that I make equal parts of turquoise and moss. I'm going to need black icing. Medium consistency in deep pink, pink edible glitter and edible markers. For the ghost you just need to put natural icing and let it dry and for the witch we're gonna start by putting the bluish icing on the face Then we're gonna add the black icing on the hat, add the colorful sprinkles and let it dry. Okay, we are going to do the witch hair and I'm gonna use a decorating tip number one and a half. To the witch I add the glitter as you can see and then I put a little bit, a little thing here that later on I'm gonna put gold. Very well, now I'm going to make the little witch's face using edible markers and I'm just going to make it like a very sweet face. And later on I am going to use the same technique to do the face of the ghost. almost all your cookie with the green icing and let it dry completely so we can draw the face with the edible markers. <laughs> I am going to do with icing also the eyes of Herman Monster. <laughs> I didn't put any icing in here because I'm just going to put direct the silver paint. And then I am going to use edible markers to do the face of this monster. And then for this little guy I am going to do her little hair. will love it um, not because they have a lot of candy but because they are very cute too okay if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and if you like this video please share it with your friends and give it a thumbs up 
and also thank you very much for all the comments and I have been so happy reading all my comments and I really really appreciate the time that you put into writing each comment because I know that most of you are very busy and that time is really really appreciated from my side okay thank you so much and um, I hope that you enjoy this idea and that you go and bake some cookies okay bye everyone oh I forgot to tell you you can follow me on my Instagram my Pinterest and my Twitter. Okay guys, see you next time. Bye bye.